My name is Iris Carroll and I'm one of your NJC librarians. Today I want to show you how to find and to use our streaming video database called Films on Demand. Films can be a really nice addition to your academic resources that you use for papers or even presentations that you make to your classes. So as always, we're going to start on the library's homepage, which is, this is the library's homepage. Scroll down and you'll see these four boxes that have the main um, reasons people come to the library's website to get help from a librarian, to find resources to use for their research, to find out about their reserve materials, and to work with a tutor um, or a writing center uh, staff member. We're looking for a database, so we're going to choose articles and databases. Now this is our articles and databases main page. At the top of the page, we have databases that we recommend you use to start your research. That's not what we're looking for right now. So we're going to scroll down and see where we can get to all of our other databases. You can find databases on particular subjects. Say, for example, you need to find some articles for your child development class, or you need to find articles about people. You can use the biography databases. But we're not doing that. We need to use databases by type. And this is good in case you want to find a database to help you pick your topic, or a database that includes primary sources, or databases that have videos in them, which is what we are doing today. Once you know the name of your database, you can always just go to the alphabetic letter that your database begins with, and you'll find all the databases, for example, that begin with F. But let's go back to databases by type and go to videos. There we see films on demand, and that is the video database that we want to use. The other database, archival films and newsreels, will be good if you're looking for primary source material or historic material. Well, we're going to use Films on Demand. And I'm going to show you how you can search in Films on Demand by either using a topic or by using a particular title. Now, because I am not on campus, I am going to need to log in just like you're going to need to log in if you happen to be off campus. And this login page tells you exactly what you need to put in. So on this first line, you need to put in your MJC ID number without the W. So I'm going to put mine in. And then on the second line, you put in your six digit birth date. So month, day, year, and then submit. Once you do this and the database recognizes you as a person affiliated with MJC, whether you're a student or a faculty member, then you have full access to the database. And here we are in Films on Demand. So this is the search bar in Films on Demand, and we can search either using a topic. You can certainly browse here by their broad topics that they have. Uh, so up here, what we're going to do is we're going to search by a topic first. So let's say the topic I want to search on is psycho, psychosocial rehabilitation. I can just type in my topic and press the little search button there. And it's going to find all films that have to do with that topic. So we have 80 results here of films, then they're going to list the films down here. But look, I have different ways that I can filter these results to try to get exactly what I'm looking for. So here under all subjects, oh, 
they have the subject of counseling and social work. Let's click on that. And I'm going to apply it. And then it is going to change the results. So we went from 80 results to 25 results. But these results specifically have to do with the subject of counseling and social work with the broad topic of psychosocial rehabilitation. So it's a much more focused search. What we're seeing here, we're seeing the title of a segment of a larger film. So the title of this segment is Motivational Interviewing. The larger film title is Treating Stimulant Addiction, the CBT Approach. And then it's got a little uh, sentence or two describing it. We can preview it. You can share it. So let's say you want to send it to yourself so you don't have to find it again. You can go to share to, and then you can put in your information and send it to yourself. Maybe your assignment requires that you create a presentation and you actually want to show the segment as part of your presentation. You can go to the embed link um, area in Share2, and you can uh, include a link to the particular shorter segment. You can include a link to the longer film that houses the segment, or you can actually embed the video in your presentation. So there are different ways of sharing it. Now it's super easy to watch the video. You just click on the video and it starts. So that is how to find a video using a topic. But let's say your teacher has given you the title of a video that he or she wants you to find. So we can search by that as well. I'm gonna stay up in the search bar. I'm going to, I think I'm gonna clear my filter first. Okay, let's see if that cleared the filter. Okay, so now I'm back to all subjects. I'm gonna go up here to the search box. I'm gonna enclose my title in quotation marks so that it keeps all the words together in that order. And I'm gonna type in my title. So I'm looking for understanding the disorder schizophrenia. I just type in my title and here is my video. It's a 24 minute video, almost 25 minute video. It came out in 2005. It is called Understanding the Disorder of Schizophrenia and it is in a series called Schizophrenia. And really that's all there is to it. So you've seen how to find films on demand, You've seen how to search in Films on Demand by topic. You've seen how to share a video with yourself and with others for a presentation. And you've seen how to find a video by title. If you have any questions at all, please go to the library's website and chat with a librarian or click on Ask a Librarian and see the many other ways that you can get help.